Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. Amber here. This is the in-game tutorial for your character. First off is stamina. Stamina is the measure of your endurance. Your max stamina increases when you level up and can be increased further by improving your body attribute and investing in certain perks and cyberware. Jumping, sprinting, dodging, and melee attacks deplete your stamina, but it will begin to regenerate shortly after you used it last. Now note that ranged attacks do not deplete your stamina. If your stamina falls to zero, you will be negatively affected by the exhaustion status until it regenerates fully. The exhaustion status reduces the effectiveness of stamina-dependent activities, such as reducing your dodge range, your jump height, sprint speed, and melee attack speed. So you definitely want to avoid getting exhausted. Consuming drinks can earn you the hydration status effect, which will increase stamina and stamina regeneration rate. So drinks increase your stamina and food increases your health. Leveling up. How do you level up in this game? Well, just like most games, you need to earn experience points, XP, to increase your level. Completing jobs and other activities will give experience points that increase your level. Every level you gain, you earn a perk point that can be spent to unlock a perk within a skill tree. And every three levels you gain, you earn an attribute point that you can use to improve one of your core attributes. And you level up a skill by performing actions related to that skill. After all, practice makes perfect. Attributes. Attributes represent the range of your abilities. Each one can be upgraded by investing attribute points earned by leveling up. So this is how you can customize your character by determining how you want to spend your attribute points and which of these five you want to invest in. Upgrading attributes will improve their related stats. For body, the stats are health and stamina. For reflexes, the, health, the stats are damage per second, DPS, and crit chance. For cool, the related stats are crit damage, resistances, and detection time. For technical ability, the related stat is armor. And for intelligence, the stat is cyberdeck ram. Each attribute contains a set of skills, and attributes level determines the max achievable levels for its related skills. Skills and perks. Skills represent your proficiency in various gameplay elements, and you can level up a skill by performing actions related to it. For example, using a certain weapon, certain type of weapon. Each skill contains a tree of perks that provides significant bonuses to your playstyle and sometimes unlock new abilities. You must spend perk points to acquire the perks you want. Perk points can be earned through skill progression and leveling up. Street cred. Street cred is a measure of your reputation in Night City. Reaching higher levels of street cred will grant you access to new vendors and items beyond the reach of small-time punks. Night City is bursting with opportunity, so get out there and seize it to elevate your rep. Health, regeneration, and armor. Health is a measure of your vitality. Your max health increases when you level up and can be increased further by improving your body attribute and investing in certain perks and cyberware. Outside combat, health will regenerate on its own up to 60% of the maximum. Also, the nourishment status effect gained from consuming food will double your health regeneration rate outside combat. Armor reduces the amount of damage you take. For every 10 points of armor, you reduce the amount of incoming damage per second, DPS, by roughly one point. Gear is the main source of armor, but some cyberware can also increase armor as well as improve your survivability in other ways. And now we're going to move to the items section of this tutorial, starting with weapons. Range weapons are categorized by their manufacturer and the technology that operates them. There are different kinds of range weapons. Power weapons, coupled with ballistics coprocessor cyberware and the trajectory generator mod, for Kiroshi Optics allows you to control your bullet's ricochet trajectory. Tech weapons allow you to charge up shots, thanks to which you can penetrate through cover and hit enemies through walls. Smart weapons 
equipped with a smart link, allow you to lock onto targets and fire homing rounds. Pistol, revolver, shotgun, rifle, and sniper rifle ammo is shared between all weapons of the same category. Range weapons can be improved with scopes and silencers. Their stats can also be improved by installing mods. Mod slots can be found by selecting a weapon in your inventory. Melee weapons are categorized into blades and blunt weapons, like bats, and they can also be modded. In addition, weapons can be crafted and upgraded from the main menu. Clothing and armor. Every piece of equipped gear increases armor and other stats, while also representing an edge runner's style. Armor decreases incoming damage. Approximately 10 armor reduces incoming damage per second, DPS by one. Installing cyberware can increase your armor value as well as aid you in other aspects of combat. You can swap out your gear in the inventory screen accessible from the main menu. A variety of mods can also improve your equipped gear's stats. Combat gadgets. The combat gadget quick slot allows you to equip grenades and certain cyberware for quick access in combat. Press right bumper for quick use, hold right bumper for precise aiming. So if you remember left bumper was for quick hack and then right bumper here is for quick use of combat gadgets. To assign an item, Hold Y to open the quick access menu, go to the combat gadget quick slot and cycle through available items and then select one to make active. Combat gadgets can also be assigned in your inventory by selecting the combat gadget quick slot. Consumables. The consumable quick slot allows you to quickly and conveniently use healing items. Press the up button on the D-pad to use the item assigned to it. To assign an item, hold Y to open the quick access menu Go to the consumable quick slot, cycle through available items, and then select one to make active. Food, drinks, and boosters can only be used from the inventory. Hover over an item and hold A to consume it. Food regenerates health while drinks regenerate stamina. One important thing to note here at the bottom is effects gained from consumables do not stack. Any new effect game gained will automatically replace the current status effect. And finally, the final item in our items list here is crafting and upgrading, which can be performed at vendors or in the crafting tab of your main menu. You'll need an item's crafting spec and the necessary components to craft or upgrade it. Crafting specs can be looted, bought from vendors, or acquired by leveling up your skills. A crafting spec's color indicates the rarity of the item you're crafting. Common and uncommon items can be crafted from the start of the game. To craft rare items, you'll need the True Craftsman perk. For epic items, the Grease Monkey perk, and for legendary items, the Edge Runner Artisan perk. And those perks are accessible through the tech ability. Crafted items will usually be of better quality than those found for sale. Their stats are determined by your engineering skill level, which again is related to your technical ability. Whenever you gain an iconic item, you will automatically receive crafting specs of that same item for different rarities and improved stats. You can also upgrade any weapon in your possession with the help of components, which will increase your weapon's stats. And that concludes my walkthrough of the in-game tutorial. Check out my channel to see the other videos in this series, as well as more guides and gameplay for Cyberpunk 2077. This is Amber. See you in the next video.